Hi everyone, welcome to the KBC Well Good program with me, Philly McMahon. I'm going to take you through some functional training that's going to work your whole body from your fingers to your toes. This is your bilateral workout. For this workout, you need either one dumbbell or one kettlebell. So, first three exercises. Evan's going to start off with a uh, goblet squat. So, knees um, just wide and hip width apart. You can hold the, the weight right, right close to your body. And then again, when you squat down, just imagine you're sitting down on a chair. Again, the heavier you go with the weight, the more you're going to be challenged. So, standing back up. Don't forget to squeeze the glutes at the top. You want to get the activation through the, 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 the glutes. And obviously, it's the knee down the exercise, so watch the track and does your knee stay in line with your toe? Uh, second exercise then we're going to do is rows, so you can actually go that side. One hand, uh, you want, you want a, a nice stable base, so just push the body forward. Now the trick with this one is, what we don't want to see is this shoulder dropping like you can see in Evan's uh, case. So we want to keep them shoulders in line, and you want to imagine that you're actually sore, sore on something, okay? So elbow into the rib, you can do this one, or you can do a different variation with the elbow going out to the side, you'll hit more top of the shoulders. Whereas if you could do the one coming into the, to the ribs, you'd be working more your lats, okay? So the next exercise we're gonna do is a press up. So Evan, you're just gonna drop the kettlebell down onto your, your hands. So try your best to do a full body press up. The, the challenging part, especially for females, is that the core, the bridge between the lower body and the upper body actually gets weak as you, as you do your press ups. It's not so much the upper body. So again, we want to squeeze the glutes, Squeeze your quad muscles in front of the body, and then you're just gonna drop your body down, chest through your hands, and push up. Now, if that, that's, your, that's, that's the hardest one, okay? If you wanna make that easier, so Ev, you can jump up onto the, the box for me now. So again, we still wanna challenge the core because we feel the core is the bridge that's gonna make you do the full press up. So hands on the box. Body, uh, the line from the ankle to the shoulder, still we want that line. And then you're gonna drop your chest to the box and then push straight back up. Again, if you're struggling with that one, you can just go on to your knees, press up on to your knees. Circuit two, the next three exercises we're gonna do. First one is upright row. So keep the, the dumbbell or the kettlebell in front of your body and bring the elbow up to shoulder height. So you're gonna walk the front of your shoulders, your, your traps as well, slowly back down, control it. So eight each arm on that one. Next one you're gonna do, just to bring the, the body temperature up, to bring the intensity up, you're gonna hold the, the kettlebell nice and close to the front of your body, and you're gonna do a knee tuck, so knees up to the chest, as high as you can. Uh, you're gonna do eight of them. The last one you're gonna do, you're gonna be on the floor for this one. Um, make sure that you have, you're gonna breathe up through the chest, so make sure that you don't have a bend in your back, so up nice and tall looking up to the ceiling, and then I want you to punch the, the, the dumbbell or kettlebell to the ceiling. If that's too hard, you can put the heels on the ground, um, but the, the most important thing on this one is, what will happen is your body will want, the core will want to disengage, and you'll basically want to bend your back. Stick the chest out as much as you can, heels up, breathe through the stomach. If you get them shakes, that's a good thing. Reach up over the head and back down. That's just giving you feedback that you need to work on, on the core strength. So for circuit three, we're gonna go after the core more. So if you wanna take a seat there. We're gonna start with reaches, so the legs in the air, lower back on the floor, and then you're gonna reach the kettlebell or dumbbell up as high as you can. So arm straight, and then reach up as high as you can. Squeeze the, the core, and then slowly drop the shoulders back down. So the next exercise we're gonna do is the Olympic roll. It looks very easy, but it's actually quite tough. Um, you're going to start off with the legs up in the air, hands behind your head. As you lift the shoulders up, you'll start to contract the core. You're going to try roll over on your belly. Don't let your knees or your elbows uh, compensate or use, use you for to, to roll over, and then you're going to roll back over. So squeeze the stomach. Here's the hard part coming straight back over. Squeeze, keep the hands up. Yeah, and very good. So you're gonna go down into the press up and you're gonna bring the knee into the elbow as you go up and kick back, straight back up. Right, if, you can't, if you're struggling to do a full press up with that, you can do the press up first, drop all the way down, 
squeeze all the way up, and then you can bring the knee into the chest. But ideally, you want to get to the stage where you can do the both of them together.